Hi everyone. Today I wanted to hop on and make this video. Um, just felt like um, there has been a lot of uh, intense energies and a lot of us are doing a lot of healing. Things are coming up, you know, emotionally, <laughs> uh, spiritually, physically, you know, symptoms and whatnot. So uh, especially like if your body is feeling ungrounded and you could use some help with that, you know, coming back to center and um, just, you know, just because by the time your body have a symptom or, or tells you or have pain or tells you something, then it's an indication for you to either slow down or to upgrade your tools, you know, get your, uh, yourself more grounded and balance your elements, balance everything out more, a little bit better, you know? Um, even including rest, you know, and sleep, <laughs> quality rest and quality sleep. And even with that, it may not be um, perfect, but it's okay. It's imperfectly perfect. <laughs> uh, same here for me. So um, I, yeah, want to hop on. And so this video, if it resonates with you, then please, uh, watch it <laughs> if not then don't worry about it <laughs> so anyway so and i wanted to show you uh, a few of my self-care tools and self-healing tools that um that i practice definitely not all of them but a few <laughs> so one of them is um i have rose water and it helps elevate your uh, elevate and raise your frequency um, into a more heart center, you know, space and overall good for your well being. <laughs> and second of all, um, I do have, uh, I work with crystals. I have been for a while, but I uh, figure I'll show you a few of them. Um, I have, whoops, I don't remember all the names, but one just, just wanted to jump out. One, this one is Carnelian. Uh, this is actually there's uh, tiger's eye but this one is a red apparently red tiger's eye so I don't know if you can see there's a little bit of that yeah um, and those are um, this is also good for the red one is also good for the sacral chakra but also it's grounding you know uh, tiger's eye and then carnelian is good for your um, they have all healing properties if you don't already know this um, it's okay <laughs> you know and um, carnelian you can usually tell by the color um, a lot of the colors matches your um, your chakra color you know and it's helpful for the uh, for that specific chakra too so this is good with your uh, sacral which is for the emotions and I have some other ones you know like this one that's kind of earthy I'm not gonna go super detail or anything like that, but I know some of you may know some of these crystals, but uh, nonetheless, it's there to help. So let me go ahead and, uh, um, and then, you know, I have my Tibetan bowls, <laughs> you know, that I play for some healing. And then I have today, I wanted to pull up, uh, I already pulled up a collective uh, message that wants to come through. So I was like, I'll share it with you. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, yeah, this is from Quan, Quan Yin Oracle deck. It's a travel edition. They call it the pocket edition, which is really convenient to take anywhere, you know, if you want to grab it, you know, versus the big ones that sometimes, you know, it's a little bit harder to carry. But this is what I pull up. And uh, this card is the Ivory Swan Goddess. And the ivory swan goddess affirms your spiritual grace and purity. The purity of your inner light never fades and cannot be tainted. Release stories of guilt, shame, judgment, or fear that you are not enough in any way. That's a big one. <laughs> That's a big one. Um, so that you may realize your divine beauty. Be more of yourself and shine your loving divine light in the world. 
so be more your divine self you know shine more of yourself right and yes there may be um situations or feelings or you know whether it's coming from yourself or from others uh, sometimes that uh, may carry that story of guilt shame and whatnot you know uh, just know that they might not do, be doing it on purpose because usually um, they if they have project that onto others it usually means they they are dealing with that themselves, but, but they may not realize. But then, you know, it's helpful to set your healthy boundaries and say no and honor yourself. And um, yeah, <laughs> and so uh, definitely not, uh, I don't, not every day looks like this and shiny or whatever, but you know, it's a process, right? So, and I will sing for you a little bit. Um, of, um, of a little chant, yeah. <laughs> mm. We we. Thank you for watching and um, quick note, don't spray when you're singing, <laughs> you can taste it. <laughs> All right, so aside from that, I hope that this is helpful and uh, helps you ground a little bit. Um, that chant was uh, very much uh, a connection to the Mother Earth. In this case, um, every situation and as we navigate through different energies, uh, definitely we, you know, different sounds, different chants, different tools be helpful. And um, if you feel guided and, and this is something that you would like to explore and learn more about or you feel like you want to get support on a pri uh, through a private session, please feel free to contact me or send, you know, uh, write me a comment below and I have information on the description below um, if you'd like to just support me you know so I can continue doing this that would be great um, you have a beautiful day and uh, I will end the video here <laughs> thank you